chilly this morning. Search running. Two feet, give or take. Okay, it's a two and a half. I don't think so yet. My uh, front camera died, the back camera doesn't have sound to speak of because it's in a waterproof case. We're going to get going and I'm going to basically overlay voice to this, uh, to the rest of the video just so that there's some commentary that I would normally be doing, you just couldn't hear it on the front camera because the camera died. So this, I was, I was looking for a piece of live bait and using obviously my little spinning reel, the little Shimano Sienna 2500 and I hooked a I think this one's 40 inches uh, pretty de pretty decent king so one thing that you will get out of this video is you're gonna watch a lot of the tail grabbing stuff and it's it's easy to be misled about tail grabbing on video it looks like oh it's simple you just reach down grab them and you're done but you'll see I make a lot of misses um, when tail grabbing and it's okay uh, as long as you're not got a shark chasing your fish you're you're okay uh, but you do definitely want to keep an eye down there in the water so this one's on the standard tackle I was trolling uh, ribbon got this one in but again it's a pretty solid fish he's mid 40s but getting him up there and leading him to where you can grab his tail is a little bit tricky and the other thing you just noticed a second ago was when I reached and missed, if you touch him on the tail and don't go ahead and grab hold and get him, uh, it's, it's really tricky. They're going to make a run for it, and you're going to have to calm them down and bring them back up along boat side, which is not a big issue, just something to be aware of. If you, if you touch him, he's going to explode and try to run. So try to make that grab count, and when you do grab for him, get a good hold on him but it's it's tricky getting the tail around there within reach so you don't fall out of your kayak trying to reach the fish so this is the interesting part is getting him guided around in a circle where you can get a hold of that that tail 
or release him, you can start to see him swim. Um, I wish it had caught it a little better on the video, but here's another little spinning rod. I'm, I'm not looking for kingfish, but I found one. So this one, I believe, was 42 inches or 43. He's a, he's a pretty stocky little king. But the, the water this day was 75, 76. It was chilly, and the kingfish really get spunky when they're when it's chilly water it's not their preference uh, they don't normally come in in chilly water but once they're here if a cold water upwelling comes in they hang around and they'll stay with it so this one I release you can see he begins to swim he goes under the boat and out of sight but he made it good this guy got hooked in the gills he's not gonna make it you can tell he, he doesn't have much energy uh, he had to go in the bag because he he just wasn't going to make it. This guy, I would rather have put this little guy in the bag. He's smaller, but I don't remember at this point. The bag might have been getting full. I kept three. I try to keep three small ones. This guy's not small. Um, I caught two big fish on this trip. This one I. I believe this one's 48, 49. It's pretty, pretty chunky king, and he's really the longer fish are hard to circle them around by hand and get that tail where you want it because that tail sinks, and about the time you see that tail, it disappears and you can't grab it. You, you got to be really Johnny on the spot and grab it. I got lucky here. He hesitated and I took advantage. And the, the seawater is supposed to be about 88 right now. Really warm, almost like bath water, and it's difficult to stay cooled off. It's another solid, solid king. And I'm just trying to work him. You, you don't want to pull the hooks. You don't want to hold on to that line too tight. You just want to guide him around, keep that other rod secure in your other hand. But you're trying to guide him around so you can grab his, grab his tail. Because obviously, if I gaff all these fish, they're going to die. So I don't want to gaff them. I want to. I think I'm saying it's fish number 11. I didn't put all the fish on this. You don't want to watch this all day long, but it gives you a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. This guy's <laughs> making me look silly. Just as I reached, he took off. He was way gone before my hand got there. But sometimes these smaller fish really are zippy, and by the time you reach to grab him, like that, the, the line got in the way. By the time I tossed it out of the way. It's too late. He's gone. So this gives you the idea. You know, just you reach, you reach, you reach. Eventually you'll get him. You just got to keep after it. Time to get the hooks out. This guy, you can tell from looking at him, he's, he's a pretty solid fish, but pretty typical 43, 44 inches. That's what most of them were that day. Giving me some top water show. And this one is hooked on a lure. The back hook's in his mouth, but the whole lure is outside of his mouth. And so the other hook stuck him in top of the head. And he's able to kind of use that and leverage and, and pull better. So he puts up a good fight. He's really spunky. I got a good grab on his tail, so kept him from from flitting around too long. This one I believe is my big fish of the day. He's 50 inches, solid, chunky king. You can tell when he hits the gas, he's gone. You, you don't want to try to stop him. You just want to depend on your drag. So it very quickly can go from, oh, I've got him, don't, don't get comfortable and lock it down any of these fish they'll break your 30 pound line if they if they really take off so you got to keep that drag adjusted and then just gently with the other hand try to lead them into position but be ready to let go pretty quick So 
this one's kind of driving me nuts, but he's a he's a solid fish, so I don't want to rush him. And he's he's got energy. I'm not worried about him dying in the hot water. It's cool water, so they're a little more durable in the cool water. I got a hold of him. He doesn't fight too long. I'm gonna get these hooks out and get a measurement. Get him back in the water. But I'm I'm showing you. Yeah, he's a 50. Good healthy fish. This is this is fish 17. I'm down about four quarts of of electrolyte drinks. I'm running near the end of my my drinks, but because it's cool water, I just kept pouring water over my head and staying cool. So I fished until about 4 p.m. Just having a hard time getting his tail within range. Thanks for watching.